This year, our main focus was to have a playwrights reunion and sort of celebrate the last 25 years, not only with our honorees and past special guests, but also just this community and celebrating what has been born from independence, Inge, obviously. You've changed the way I see theater. You come from Kansas, they'll hate it in New York. But, but I'll write, I'll write touching, human. New Yorkers won't be caught dead like in anything Kansans like. Marcia Zabolska, she was one of our first two playwrights in residence. She, um, she was asked to write a play about William Inge for the festival this year. I became acquainted with the William Inge Theater Festival when I moved here to Kansas and I was told this was the place for professional theater and a national event, the one national event in, uh, in the state to really pay attention to. Nothing was as I had imagined, all the things I dreamed about. Audrey Wood sold your play. I wanted but to- But you had it all, top actors, out of town tryouts. Don't you understand? I wanted to be respected, honored, looked up to. Yes, and you were. Also, I know Peter Ellenstein hopes that in 2007, a year from now, that, that uh, there can be some touring of, of this production to make it available to other schools, colleges, high schools. Uh, it's both art and education. I mean, it both tells, tells the story, but it also has a, you know, a strong artistic element to it that uh, can be appreciated just as theater, not necessarily only as the life of William Inge. The William Inge Festival Foundation bought the William Inge home. Since then, we've updated the house and kind of remodeled it a little bit so that it was livable and uh, made it possible to have resident playwrights live there um, each semester. You pretend like you're coming home from a long, hard day at the office. And I have to get dinner. What kind of value? It's just the way you play the game. Okay. Sure had a long, hard day at the office today. <laughs> Did you have a year? I played bridge with the Van Uppingtons today. And after work, we went for a ride near Rolls Royce. We supposed to be real rich? Sure. I made fifty million dollars today <laughs> on the stock market. <laughs> Wonderful, hubby dear. We have a, a variety of programs throughout the year, playwriting programs that we bring into the schools. We do twenty-four hour plays for the high schools. And so what we do is we um, reach out to local businesses and ask them to sponsor high school days during the festival. Yeah. You can give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't. You know, training, listen, there are Academy Award winning actors that have not had any formal acting training. And there are ones that have studied with Meisner and Adler and uh, Strasberg and everybody else. And they're also Academy Award winners. There's no one trajectory. You never have to worry that you're not doing it right because there is no right and wrong. That's the beauty of this career path. And it's also the horror of it that there's no guarantee and there's no kind of set path where if I do this, 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 and this, I will be an artist. It doesn't work that way. It's I have to create what I'm going to do and make it happen, you know, but who knows how that's going to happen and it's liberating and terrifying all at once. It's nice meeting you. Thank you. Goodbye. Um, Daphne said you were coming out with a new novel and, and needed a picture for the back cover. Yeah, well, some other time. Uh, s sounded wild. Oh God, oh God. Uh, something about a woman whose head keeps falling off? Uh, this was her idea, not mine. I hate having my picture taken. I hate it. She told hate me it, you might react like this. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. Dorothy. Hate it, 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 hate a couple more trees that we'll plant this year, one for Wendy Wasserstein and one for August Wilson. Normally when you are at an award ceremony and you are one of the people being honored, you 
hope to heaven that you are going to win. And I hoped to heaven, and I knew from heaven that August was going to win. And I remember turning around to him, and, and when he, when he, when it was announced, and I said, "Yes, yes, you really deserve this." And he just broke out into this smile. I think this is a wonderful event, I and mean, it's a national event that we have in the state of Kansas, in which we have professional theater people coming from uh, New York and LA and, and all over actually uh, here. And I think one can see some, have some really high quality theatrical experiences here from very talented and experienced actors and directors coming together here. Uh, let's celebrate 2000, please. Each April, Independence Kansas holds a festival to honor this picnic playwright who was born there. Kevin? Who is William Inge? That's right. My mother was Eileen Heckert, who was one of the foremost actresses of the plays of William Inge, having starred in the original productions of Picnic, The Dark at the Top of the Stairs, and the film A Bus Stop. And she would always tell me about this incredible time she had at this place called the William Inge Festival out in somewhere called Independence, Kansas. No. Nope. Muscles? No. Nope. Appendix? No. Nope. Goiter? Doctor, when you're done with me, would you take a look at my cat? He's... <laughs> he slobbers when he sleeps. <laughs> Madam, I am not a veterinarian. Well, doctor, I ain't a madam. <laughs> She, uh, there's a picture that, um, it was my favorite picture of her, this one. This was taken on the steps of the, uh, uh, of the museum here. I just think it so captures her. And I love the no loitering sign behind her. There. <laughs> we did have one guest that came, and as they got off the plane, they gave me a recipe of a special type of muffin that they needed made the next morning to be delivered to their door at the hotel at 7.03 a.m. promptly hot. So we did that. No problem. We filmed Picnic in Hutchison, Kansas over 50 years ago. I've had my face lifted three times. <laughs> It's a combination of things that conspire here in this town during this week. The whole temperature of this festival is really, it's very, it's wonderful. It's heightened, it's high, and, uh, and at the same time, very kind of low key. I mean, I live in Los Angeles now, and um, it, it is a wonderful relief to come here and, uh, and be met with this kind of lovely, quaint, hospitality and everyone here is here because they love the arts in some way whether they're directors or playwrights actors stage managers they're here because they're up to something that I'm up to you know in my life and so you get a lot of people that are up to something uh, and you put them all together and something is created out of that which is you know magical there's no other festival like this and you know there's just such passion behind it and I respond to that and so I keep coming back to that and the wonderful you know the festivities it's great and the opportunity to see some great work and to be involved in some great work. Hey, well,